in the next 5 to 10 minutes, I will be giving you those topics plus questions which will help you to score, we say, 40 to 50 marks in your NEET 2025. These are the 40 to 50 sure shot marks, okay, because questions have been asked from these particular topics till now and we will be expecting the questions will be asked in the NEET 2025 also. So, do not miss out any of these particular topics over here. Let me just start with the topic over here that is first one if you check the screen over here that is a ratio of total displacement in one second two second three second and so on see guys is if let's suppose there is a car its initial velocity is zero acceleration is constant it starts from here after t is equal to one second it's here t is equal to two it's here t is equal to three it's here and so on how much is the displacement covered by the car in first one in one second that is x let it be x in the two seconds, okay, from here to here, it is 4x. In the three seconds, it will be 9x. Directly remember, in the four seconds, it will be 16x. So the ratio will be displacement in one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, x, 4x, 9x, 16x, or 1 is to 4 is to 9 is to 16. Extremely important, guys, okay? Then we have ratio of the displacement in first second. This is the displacement in first second. This is the displacement in second second. This is the displacement in third second. This is the displacement in fourth second. And this ratio is going to be x is to 3x is to 5x is to 7x. Previous ratio was complete displacement. And this ratio is the displacement of every second. Okay. And this is x is to 3x is to 5x is to 7x and so on. Take a look at the question. What will be the ratio of distance moved by a freely falling body? If a body falls, its initial velocity is zero, acceleration is constant, 9.8 meter per second square. In fourth and fifth second, we have to find the displacement in fourth and fifth second. So this is going to be the displacement in fourth, sorry, this is the displacement in fourth, and in the fifth second, that is going to be 9x. So seven divided by nine is the answer. Previous year question. And then a body starts from rest. What is the ratio of distance traveled by that body during fourth and third second? That is 7x by 5x, direct seven by five. Next, guys, I want you to take a look exactly over here. Extremely important, okay? Center of mass of the rod. Consider a, ma a rod of mass M and length L. If you have a rod over here, its mass is M, length is L, okay? Mass is constant at every single point, same mass. Its center of mass will be exactly at the center. We say its center of mass is at the center, okay? That is at L by 2, 0.5 L. Now, guys, if there is a variable mass system means if there is a rod its mass is changing as you move from here as you move from right to left okay okay for like this like this okay in x we say we say its mass keeps on increasing on every unit length we say mass is increasing so that's why here lambda is proportional to x okay so we say if you increase x mass per unit length increase in this particular case directly remember directly remember we say we say center of mass will be at 0.66 l and if lambda is proportional to x square, in that case, you say center of mass will be at 0.75 L. And if you see in a question, if lambda is proportional to x cube, in that case, we say center of mass will be at 0.5 L. L is the complete length. As simple, direct, direct answer. Next. Next. Very important. We say when it comes to the elastic collision, when it comes to the perfectly inelastic, when it comes to the inelastic, if somebody says how much is the loss in, loss in elastic collision, loss of, loss of kinetic energy in the elastic collision, we say initial kinetic energy before the collision is equal to kinetic energy after the collision. So loss will be zero. When it comes to the inelastic collision, my dear friends, we say loss in kinetic energy is one by two, M1, M2, mass of first mass, mass of second mass. M1 upon M1 plus M2 and then we say, then we say U relative square into 1 plus E. This is coefficient of restitution and U relative is, this is initial velocity mass of first velo ma velocity of first mass minus mel velocity of second mass. Okay. Okay. Before the collision, this is the velocity. And when it comes to the perfectly inelastic 1 by 2 M1 M2 upon M1 plus M2, your U relative square, this is the, this is the. Uh, velocity of uh, approach initially that is u1 minus u2 this is how we find the loss one more important thing guys if an object is released from certain height important extremely important okay it falls some height then it is rebounded then it falls back it is rebounded it is rebounded okay then it falls 
and 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 after some time it will cover come to rest okay now if somebody says how much is this height total distance it has covered before it comes to rest this is the total height covered that is basically this height plus this height plus this height plus this height plus if you keep on adding all of these final relation will be this directly remember h h is the height this height this height okay then we say 1 plus e is the coefficient of restitution upon 1 minus e square okay similarly one more question on this one if the same object if the same object falls okay how much time it is going to take before it comes to rest okay from here to here how much time it is going to take that is under root of 2h by g 1 plus e upon 1 minus e directly you remember this expression also okay this question this question take a look guys take a look guys gravitational potential energy of earth mass system if there is an object you have taken it to the height h from the surface of earth how much will be the change in potential energy you say that is mgh upon 1 plus h divided by r now guys in this particular case this this is the direct relation and this question was asked in me 2013 17 19 and many more times okay now if there is a question on the same topic an object is taken to height h is equal to 2r from the surface of earth the increase in the potential energy will be guys this is how do we find the change in potential energy it is it is taken to h is equal to 2r put here instead of h 2r here also it is 2r this and this will cancel so change in potential energy is 2 by 3 mgr okay next 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 what do i need to talk about yes this hanging chain problem now guys if there is a box over here there is a chain okay present over here okay now the question is how much can be the maximum length of the chain that can overlong what should be this length so that this chain does not fall so that so that it, it will remain hanging only okay we have to find this length of this chain directly remember this x is mu into l mu is the coefficient of friction l is the length of the chain okay upon 1 plus mu upon 1 plus mu like in this particular case you have a question directly you apply this mu into l upon 1 plus uh, mu okay apply it and answer will come out to be l by 5 you can see it from your end also okay then okay one more thing rough and smooth inclined plane now guys if there is an inclined plane over here angle is theta and this block is sliding if there is an rough inclined plane okay angle is theta okay time taken by the block to go down on smooth is less as compared to rough obviously it will take more time in sliding down it will take less time because surface is smooth now if i say time of rough surface time how much time it is going to take will be n times will be n times time of smooth surface okay in that case mu will be equal to sir what is the friction coefficient of friction n square plus minus one upon n square into tan theta take a look at the question a body slides the rough inclined surface at an angle of 30 degrees okay and takes time as twice as great as the time taken on slipping down the identical frictionless plane coefficient of friction will be guys here a tough a time on rough surface is two times time on smooth surface so here value of n is given as two so you can say coefficient of friction will be n square minus one upon n square into tan theta put the values and we say answer will be a root three by four directly value of mu okay direct direct question okay one more important thing you guys need to understand over here motion of a connected mass system if you have connected mass system over here okay like this 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 if somebody asks you what is the acceleration of the system directly remember acceleration is net pulling force net external and i would write over here i would write over here that is pulling also net pulling force upon net mass net pulling force upon net mass how much is the pulling force this is the pulling force 50 mass into acceleration due to gravity that is if it is 5 kg so 50 and this will be 30 newton net pulling force will be 50 minus 30 sir what about this tension this is the internal force this is not the net pulling force so 50 minus 30 upon 10 okay net mass 5 plus 2 plus 3 acceleration is 2 meter per second square if somebody asks you find the tension also consider this block apply newton second law this is the acceleration guys that is 50 minus t net force net force is equal to mass into acceleration mass is 5 acceleration is 2 so tension comes out to be 40 on the same topic one more question okay here acceleration will be net pulling force that is 40 only divided by net mass this plus this plus this that is 2 meter per second square if you have to find out this tension guys consider this block 
this will be 40 newton minus t net force is equal to mass into acceleration 40 minus t is equal to mass is 4 acceleration is 2 so tension will come out to be 32 newton i hope every single thing is crystal and clear okay okay and make sure you smash the like button and one more important topic over here when a force is parallel to the ground guys let's suppose this is a block over here okay on this surface how much amount of what is the minimum amount of force you need to apply parallel to ground so that the block does not slip down slide down m into g into sine theta minus mu cos theta mu is the coefficient of friction between the surface and the block upon cos theta plus mu sine theta then when it comes to the maximum force what is maximum force if you keep on increasing this force how much should be the maximum value of force so that the block starts sliding in the upward direction that is the maximum force this is given over minimum force will stop the block from falling maximum force will take it to the upward direction that's it okay even if somebody asks you if f maximum is n times of f minimum what is the value of friction coefficient of friction n minus 1 upon n plus 1 into tan theta directly directly standard formula okay one more important topic one more important topic in this one okay that is that is gravitational potential due to a hollow sphere if you have a hollow sphere okay like football okay there is nothing present inside football you have to find the potential outside at r distance this will be minus gm divided by r okay g is the universal gravitational co constant m is the mass okay if i say on the surface on the surface value of this small r will become capital r so this will be minus gm by r and if somebody says inside whatever is on the surface that will be inside so gravitational potential is constant from inside to the surface okay and if somebody says the graph extremely important graph many times asked when the need we say this graph would be something like this from center to surface it is inside it is constant and outside v is inversely proportional to r similarly gravitational potential due to a solid sphere if you have a solid sphere over here my dear friends okay radius is r in this particular case okay now at outside potential will be minus gm divided by r and guys 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 one more thing one more thing this graph is actually like this okay this graph is actually like this so because this is minus gm by r this is the graph between mod of v and r so in reality it is something like this. okay from the lower side from the lower side now guys take a look here 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 so we say we say if you see in this particular case minus gm by r okay on the surface minus gm by capital r we say we say inside it is going to be minus gm divided by 2r cube where capital r is the radius 3r square minus r square okay okay yes 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 and and if we say at at the center what is the value of r at the center that is zero put this as zero it will come out to be minus 3 by 2 gm by r okay now if you make the graph between this is mod of v versus r so it would be something like this okay this is at the center this is on the surface and then outside it is inversely proportional to r if you have to make the same graph between if you have to make the same graph between v and v versus r then the same graph would be from the lower side from this lower side this will be the exact graph so make sure you smash the like button and you share it with your friends thank you so much take care and bye bye and all the best